We'll win the first test and let the English media do the rest, said Ricky Ponting after Lords. And it was no surprise that the press were so quick to show their feelings after England had capitulated. Unbound enthusiasm before the series quickly turned to despondency and criticism on those back pages. Expectation levels were sinking fast. The question was, how would the England players react to it? In the moments before the game, Glenn McGrath, warming up with a rugby ball, trod on a cricket ball. It was a disastrous moment and he was taken from the field with no chance of playing. Here are the sides then. McGrath's ankle injury means that Michael Kasprovich plays after all. Otherwise, no change with the Australians. And there's no change at all for the English. We're ready for the toss. Here it goes. Heads, heads is the call. It is a head, Ricky. Heads it is. Ricky Ponding has won the toss. What are you going to do, Ricky? Uh, we're going to have a bowl this morning, mate, with the uh, overhead conditions the way they are. And... Uh... The wicket probably being still a few days behind, even after a couple of days of sun. Uh, hopefully we can do some damage this morning. That's a drop. No balls. Wow. Oh, that's a terrific hit. Goodness me. <laughs> Just more than an hour into the match. That's the slider, uh, well driven by Trescothic. And that couple brings up a very nice half century for the Somerset man. And what a wonderful change of pace that was. That's the real art of leg spinning. A really quick delivery. Been trying to pick that gap at cover and falling too short of what would have been a good half century. In an exceptionally strong position at lunch, 132 for one, and the weather improving. Lovely for batting. A little outside edge on 90 walks. So finally, Australia get their second wicket. It's been a long haul, it's been hard work. We're only into the second session. But they'll feel like they've been out there for a whole lot longer than that. That's a very positive innings by Marcus Out, 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 out. No doubt at all about that. That was a, a forward shot, but not really a convincing. Didn't really play at it uh, confidently. It's 170. It was a fantastic catch. It was up there for a long time. It was downwind. It uh, looked for a second as if it was going for six. Not a good shot by the captain. One of the most amazing things about Peterson is the power. And 
Peterson plays another remarkable stroke. That is a very fine innings. Three knocks against Australia and three fifties. He really does hit the ball well. You know, that old line about he's worth the admission money alone, he really is. It's pitched in line, and that, I reckon, would have hit middle and off. Play three by John. Rocky O'Reilly. He's got again, and he's out caught. He won't have picked up too many wickets in a test match quite like that. That's a good knock, 348 for eight, and a standing ovation. And that could be out. Out to the ground. <laughs> Top edge for six. And now only four more. The crowd loving it. Catch. <laughs> Received Harbison here, but he's very full. It was almost through him as he tried to play it to leg. A bit puzzled. That's a wonderful picture, that. Sixer. 207. Then a few players there might have liked to have gone on to bigger totals, but essentially it was such an entertaining day. It's hard to be too critical of it. Warren is a stayer. He picked up four for 116 in a brave and a gutsy effort. Three for Kasprovic, two for Gillespie and one for Lee. Now we thought we were going to get 25 minutes of Australia facing the wrath of England's new ball, but the rain came down so everybody went back into the pavilion.